So, first, I can't even find the third dude. Okay, I'm gonna take my eyebrow brush, and this one's from Anastasia. And this one is a, um, a Sephora Pro Black Concealer Brush. And also, you're going to need a, just a random concealer buffy brush. And I got this one from Elf. So, excuse my hair, it's not done. So, you're going to need a concealer, a full coverage concealer. I have these two MAC Pro Longwears, but also a very full coverage one as well is the MAC, the little paint pop ones. And I also got this one. I don't really use this one because um, when I bought it, they said that it dried fast and it actually does. This is the Makeup Forever one. And then I'm also going to take the Anastasia Deep Brow, but I want to take the color Dark, no, Chocolate. Dark Brown is darker than the chocolate one. I like the chocolate one. <laughs> it is like a more natural finish. So the key about doing your eyebrows when they're not done is mainly it's about concealing like to conceal all the hairs but I because I don't the reason why I don't get my eyebrows done I don't know I just don't really go a lot but I tweeze them like a little bit just to kind of keep it uh, um just to keep a nice line at the bottom so when I do conceal it won't be like having to cover up a lot of hairs so yeah so I take a little bit of the dip brow onto my hand and then I just like um, do it like this so that it's both sides of the brush is coated. So you're gonna spoolie out your eyebrows and then uh, go one line under. So it's basically just like an eyebrow tutorial when you your eyebrows are done, but you kind of have to do like a little bit of overlining and you really have to make sure that you conceal like with a full coverage concealer or them hair is just gonna look crazy so i'm going to go ahead i'll just do a little line at the bottom like however i want it to go that looks fine to me so boom boom y'all see that line right you see my hair stops up right there boom boom that's why i tweeze exactly right there so like no hairs will be right there so it won't look a little tacky so also we're just going to just do a little line at the top the tip top tip top okay and also you don't have to do your eyebrows a certain shape however whatever shape you want your eyebrows then go for it but this is the shape that I like my eyebrows to be. I like a nice arch. And then I'm just going to fill it in at the back, towards the end of the brow, the back. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I'm just going to do this to the back and dip back in it a little bit more. And when I get to the front, I like to just comb, go up with the brush to get that natural effect. See, so it's like, and like I got hair, so it's like moving. So you see that line right there. Try to diffuse it, but I don't. I kind of like the line to still be there, but just not as prominent as it is. Like, you know, because I like it to still be defined. Like, you know. <laughs> so just do it like that. Comb through the brow. Okay, you all like. Mm -mm -mm. So for the sense of today that I am going to be doing a tutorial after this, I'm going to go in with this really light concealer under my brows. And when I'm doing light concealer under the brows, I like to take a different foundation brush. I mean, another concealer brush. This one is from the Beauty Supply by Ruby Kisses. Oh, Ruby Kisses. I've heard of that. But I got it in the Beauty Supply, I think. Mm, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Um, and then I'd like to take another concealer brush and go in with a darker concealer over the top so I can make sure that blends in with my foundation. So, and usually you, it doesn't take that much pomade, so I usually have a lot left over, so I just scoop it back up with my brush 
and then just put it back in the pot. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take one pump of this concealer, this MAC, and this one is in the color NC42. I like to, and I'm in the color NW45. Ooh, damn it, wrong brush. I like to um have a light color under, just so it gives me that natural high, highlighted underbrow. And it also gives a nice base for all of my um, eyeshadows. Just boom, and then just gonna blend that out. We'll blend it down. And this is a full coverage concealer. So y'all see that? Y'all see that? That eyebrow is concealed. It looks so much lighter on the camera. It looks white as hell on the camera. Oh my god, is it really that light? It don't look that light in person. That's crazy. So I usually just work this down for when I'm about to do my um, eyeshadow. I'm going to take this little... Stippling buffer brush thing is from um, Real Techniques, and then I just usually just stipple it just to. And I think that this helps with the coverage that is like small, short, and dense. It helps keep all the coverage instead of it like taking away the coverage. Um, yeah. So we're gonna do that, and I usually just set it, set it. So uh, this is in color NW45, and I'm just going to go on top of my eyebrows and just carve them out the way that I want them. Okay, okay. And this baby is full cup for ridge. Y'all see that? So you would never know that my eyebrows weren't done, would you? Not really, unless you're staring that hard at my face. Mm hmm So I usually do that, and then I could just wait to buff it in my foundation, but for my girls that don't, that just want to do their eyebrows, just take a brush, and, but I recommend that if you're, um, If you're just doing your eyebrows and you're not wearing any other makeup, I know makeup girls, they be trying to clown people like that. Just um, either use a concealer that you know matches your skin tone or just try not to conceal at the top at all. Because, yeah, you don't want to be looking like a ghost walking around with a halo on the top of your eye looking crazy. Yeah, you don't want to do that. So... Yeah, this is the eyebrow tutorial. Boom, boom. Go from that to that. Actually, I'm going to fix the top. Cause I don't like my top to be that small. Be a little bigger. Just go around it and then just define it. Just a little more. Okay. So, you go from this to this. This to this. Alrighty, guys. So, thank you guys for watching.